While the world of this Gamergate and the Sweet Baby Ink saga has taken an interesting twist, something came forward with uh, a group called Black Girls Gamers. Now, from my initial thought on this group was they were trying to inject themselves into the storyline of what's going on with Sweet Baby Ink to try and gain some relevance. And now it's come down to where they want to pursue legal action against an article that was placed online about their hiring practices. Let's take a look. Now Grums, he is a ex-World of Warcraft, Starcraft developer, Diablo 2 developer uh, from Blizzard Entertainment. Um, long time ago, he no longer works for them now. But this is where the saga has started and gone and completely gone off the rails. Anyway, before I get fully into the video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. The biggest thing you can do right now for the channel is subscribe to the channel and look for a new announcement coming out fairly soon. Uh, I'm still working out some details on something. Gamergate went from cold to nuclear very fast. Nothing is working and they are desperate. First, it came out a cancel and ban of Cabrutus Rambo, which is the creator of the Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, detected uh, Steam Curator group. Then they wanted Dox Gamers. They, they, they attempted to find out who he was, where he's living, to try and, uh, I don't know, to swap the guy because that's something that's happened in the past. Uh, then they smear gamers. Uh, they completely call gamers extremists, alt-right, uh, working with Trump's trade playbook and very many more things. No gamers, gamers are gamers. They, they just want to have a game and escape the world. Then you have Wikipedia, something I haven't covered. Uh, Wikipedia is uh, running defense on this in real time. You try and make an edit to a Wikipedia page on this controversy and they delete the edits unless they believe it, it is the narrative of what is actually going on. I, I haven't covered this one yet either. They're calling for a final purge, a purge of all the gamers that have the, the knowledge and the critical thinking skills to know how much BS is going on in the gaming industry. And now we are here where they want to threaten to sue articles and gamers alike just for shedding light on the situation. That Park Place, they've been kind of covering this whole ordeal. They've been there from the start of this. They're a gaming, another gaming website, another gaming article website. These things are popping up every day right now. Um, but this one in particular, they, they kind of started at the beginning. Forsaken, a video game that completely failed. The, the, the gaming, the game developers shut their doors over the game. Forsaken's consultant, Black Girl Gamers, appears to discriminate in their hiring practices while claiming they are being harassed. This is the article that went up. It details in some information about Black Girls Gamers and how they pretty much only want to hire one set of people. And unfortunately, that's the discrimination that is coming out from it. Looking for black women content creators that make Dungeons and Dragons D&D content for some potential brand work. Hit us up. This article sparked them to threaten to sue that park place and anybody that shares this article. Now, from Black Girls Gamers, we're addressing the recent allegations published on thatparkplace.com about discriminatory hiring practices within Black Girls Gamers. These claims are false and were made without prior fact checking or verification from us for or our representatives. Black Girls Gamers operate as a contracting organization that collaborates with both freelancers and content creators from all backgrounds to work on various projects and initiatives to amplify underrepresented voices in gaming and make the community more exclusive. I've only got 2,000 subs. Uh, I, I'm a little bit underrepresented on YouTube. I don't believe that's the case, but I think it's just 
you have to go through the motions and the grind and everything else like that. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Contrary to the allegations of the article, Black Girl Gamers have contacted uh, freelancers of all races, gender, sexual orientations, religions, and ethnic backgrounds. We've also included representations of all genders and backgrounds in our content. How do you represent all uh, all genders when at this point the list just keeps on growing i'm up here in canada they add a new letter to it every week uh, our content uh, at our events and our marketing consultations and research projects some of which are not publicly disclosed due to an nda so your hiring practices and your discriminatory practices uh, in this case that's coming the question are hidden behind a non-disclosure agreement. Don't see how that's the case. That doesn't really make any sense that you can't say these things under an NDA. If you have something that has to deal with uh, with a video game or stuff like that, then an NDA makes sense. But to say that you can't disclose who's working for your company because of an NDA, then what kind of company are you actually running here? Evidence demonstrating our commitment to diversity and inclusion, including our non-discriminatory hiring practices, is readily available and easily searchable. Oh, it is, is it? Well, let's let's do this really quick. Black Girls Gamers hiring. Uh -oh. Who works for you? Uh, okay, well, we, we've got a home. Um, we've got their website, menu. Um, who, who do we hear? Uh, contact maybe I don't even know um, join the community join the community who's part of the community um, okay we just get a thing that we get to fill out um, um, services uh, talent talent who's your talent okay um, who do we got benefit cosmetics Google Paramount we're connected with Captain Morgan's Paramount benefit H&M I'm um, not really gaming stuff about us, maybe? Uh, to, 2015, uh, they have grown into a small Facebook group, thriving uh, collective. 10,000 plus black women around the globe. I don't see how this is easily searchable. So so easily searchable, I, I, I guess that's a thing out there. Um, upon discovering these false and dis deflammatory allegations we have taken steps to obtain legal counsel to take action against the publication and journalist as well as subsequent content creators who have reshared this the false allegations about our organization we will continue to pursue further action against anyone who persists in spreading false and deflammatory information about black girls gamers its founder and its contractors and its partners um, we continue, we value the talent and contributes of all collaborations and we are committed to continuing to do so. Thank you to our community for the ongoing support. That Park Place has followed this up. For spoken black con consultant, black or old gamers threaten legal action against That Park Place and claims they're committed to diversity and inclusion, including our non-discriminatory hiring practices. The video game consultant, the organization, black or old gamers threatened to take legal action. That Park Place is following a report after repairing the company discriminates in their hiring practices. They list their the original report that they put out there with back to the tweet that went out there and then we go through the the whole thing that I just read with their their stuff. Following the publication of this legal threat, former World of Warcraft lead Mark Kern, uh, aka Grums, comes out and states, Black Girl Gamers goes on to state that the evidence of the non-discriminatory hiring practices is readily available and easily searchable. So I did some research and some searches into Black Girl Gamer and hiring policy for consultant and was not able to find anything like we just saw me trying to do the same thing. In fact, the website has no hiring policy uh and in fact you need a password it's password protected and requires that you first search out black girl gaming to obtain access this does not seem easily searchable furthermore the black girls gamers website actually claims to continued uh so it goes down there um so evidence demonstrating that it's easily found so could i provide details on uh, access 
uh, with the subject line and then the, the guest area, it's passworded, it's, which doesn't even make sense. Black Girl Gamer it claims to be 100% minority operated. I've seen minority owned, but no, what does minority operated mean? It is unclear if they meant 100% of its management or 100% of its staff. The 100% minority operated claim, the SEAL uh, job board, and the lack of the hiring policy consulting group that work with jn lopez who works as consultant with gaming companies to change the way people think about gaming they have worked on numerous games in companies including meta ubisoft and square enix where they've consulted uh, on the doomed Forsaken title. Forsaken was a game that tanked so hard that Square Enix had to close the studio. Well, now Grums, he <coughs> has in a last tweet here is, I'm not an attorney, so the following is an opinion. It is my opinion that defamatory cases are very difficult to prove in general, especially against a journalist. And this is something that is very, very difficult, especially in the United States. If you Maybe if you're over in Britain, uh, it might hold a little bit more grounds. The news outlet here is not even claiming the discriminatory hiring as fact, but speculation, which could put under uh, editorializing. Threatening to sue any gamer who spreads the article is obviously an intimidation tactic in designed to scare and silence anyone who might be critical to Black Girls Gamers with tedious legal basis. Black Girl Gamers are bullies and oppressors, and this is what we saw with Sweet Baby Inc., where they terrify the gaming industry to get their way. Blackmail will not save your companies in this case, and I have to say Black Girls Gamers, they kind of got upset about a... Um, Another curator group that was started, but it was very suspect of it being started. I didn't cover it because at the time that just felt like they were trying to inject themselves into it. And I'm not going to go into it here because I believe it was a false flag. I believe the now deleted tweets that I saw on these things, I believe were not legitimate in the first place. Bullies and oppressors seek to hide once again from their actions and to silence anyone who gets in their way. Their threats and intimidation tactics are disgusting and should not be tolerated. They are afraid. And this is exactly where we are today. Now, the, the Black Girl Gamers uh, group or whatever you want to call it, I, I don't see it as... A group coming together and doing what they're doing um but when you get into the consultancy and you consult for a game like for for spoken and the game craters and the company shuts down the studio over that game you've got to ask the questions and i think that's what has happened here that park place and grums have asked the questions they've put out a response from the questions that they asked and now black girls gamers don't like what has been shown here because it's it's taken everything that has happened with this game and it's now placed it at their lap and now they have to sit there and decide what to do with what has been shown i don't know where this really goes but once again it seems this whole situation where this push for unnatural diversity in these spaces has completely bubbled up into another response from the industry. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.